Hey guys, and welcome back to the greenhouse. We are uh, in the, what we call the number one house, and we are in this process of cleaning things up and getting things repaired that we know need worked on before we get into to growing. Um, I like to get everything that I can think of taken care of ahead of time. Now we finished up the curtains on our big greenhouse um, this morning. We worked on those for a couple of weeks off and on. I uh, really can't work on them at all if the wind was blowing, so we kind of had to pick and choose our days for that. But they are finished up, and it turned out pretty good. They're not perfect, but nothing around here is, so I don't figure I'd want to start now. But uh, we just uh, just finished those up. I'll show a picture of them there later on in this video. But uh, today we're going to talk about our therm alarm. Uh, we have an alarm system set up in all of our greenhouses. Uh, that keeps an eye on the temperature for us and we have those all set at different temperatures depending on what we have that greenhouse running and if the temperature drops below or goes above uh, what we have these set at there's an alarm that goes off at the house and I'll show you that in a bit also it's a, just a siren uh, and it, it will wake us we can hear it anywhere in the house so if there is a problem uh, then we can get out here and take care of it before uh, before we lose anything. So we've had several nights here uh, where it's been extremely cold, and um, even if you think you have everything going right, uh, something can go wrong in the night, and has, and that thermal alarm has saved us more than once. In fact, usually once or twice every winter, there'll be something that will go wrong, and uh, it, it alerts me to get out here and check things out. We also have it running over to our tortoise house. Many of you that have come to the greenhouse have seen the tortoise house, and that is something else that has to be regulated, the temperature. And uh, uh, we have to keep it between 70 and 80 all the time, so we went ahead and run a line over to his little house to keep it warmed up. So uh, that's, uh, that's something that needs to be watched also. So I'm gonna show you a little close-up view of this, kind of give you an idea of how it works. Okay, this is the alarm that uh, we have that is set up right behind our house here. And when that thing goes off, it screams. And we can hear it anywhere in the house. And uh, usually it'll absolutely scare you to death because you know whenever you hear that awful sound, there's a real problem that has to be fixed quick. There have been some nights where it gets down to zero. And uh, we have even had 20 and 30 degrees below zero here very very rare but it does happen and uh, that is uh, an, a, a very essential tool uh, if I'm gonna get any sleep um, that thing really really helps and it has saved us many times so I just come on to show you the siren all right this is uh, what is called a thermal alarm system and uh, each one of these wires that you see going out here they each go to a different building uh, and they come back to this main center right here. Now I'll say right from the get-go that um, I've, I'm, you're able to obtain this, you're able to obtain the, the alarm wire and uh, the siren itself from just about any greenhouse supply company. We purchased ours through Grower Supply uh, if you would be interested in, in a system like this. But now this was all set up for me by my neighbor who, uh, who is a, a really good electrician. And you'll never see me on any of these videos doing any electrical work because um, that is not something that I'm comfortable with doing. The extent of my electrical work is probably putting the ends on an extension cord. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, and I, can't e I don't even understand how all this works. So you would have to talk with an electrician about that to have that set up. But uh, the alarm system works really well for me and uh, it has saved us many times. But, but I just kinda wanna show you how it works here. There's a, there's a couple of little needles in here where you set a high and a low temperature. And if, if uh, those needles drop and hit that little red arrow there, um, wherever you have that set, that is what sets the alarm off. And the same here on the high temperature as well. Um, but it's it's about the only way I could get any sleep at night. Um, it really does help. So kind of wanted to showcase that a little bit today. So that's what we're going to be working on today. 
All right, I thought I should clarify just a little bit about what we need to do here today. Uh, we don't have any of our greenhouses running right now. And uh, what we really need to do is unhook uh, from the thermal arm um, here, uh, get these wires unhooked so that they're not going back to the alarm system because since we're not using the greenhouses, we don't want them on our system now. But if you've been to our petting zoo and you've seen, uh, you've seen our tortoise, uh, we do have to have him up and running. And uh, that is something that I have neglected to do up to now. Luckily, we've been fine. The heat has run and everything's been fine. But it's something that I needed to get done here and, and make sure that we have that alarm system set up into his house to monitor the temperature in there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go around to each of the greenhouses and unhook the wires here uh, so that uh, they won't set that alarm off needlessly. So that's what we'll be doing. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch up with you on the next video.